Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tell Flare Mouse. We have another shotgun slug you've probably never heard of before. Today's slug is called the AQ slug, and these were generously donated to us by Justin Hazuga. Now there's not that much information about these on the internet, but we do know that they were sold through like ballistic products more than eight years ago, but discontinued. The large lead ball is attached to a white nylon base which has slanted fins, which are reminiscent to the ribs on a rifled foster slug. Now it is interesting that they claim that these slanted fins cause rotational stability even through a smoothbore shotgun. Many people, including experts, claim that the slanted fins on a foster slug do not cause the slug to actually rotate. I put markings on the bases of the slug just so we could verify with the high-speed camera whether or not they are actually rotating as they fly through the air. Many people have asked us to put dimples on a slug like on a golf ball to see if that will improve the efficiency, the speed, the accuracy, or whatever. Even though the dimples are quite small, it did affect the overall weight. The dimpled slug weighs almost 2 grams lighter than the unmodified slug. So one does need to question whether or not that weight difference taints the results. We'll shoot these through a rifled shotgun, a shotgun with a rifle choke tube, and a cylinder bore. Then we can determine which is the best type of shotgun to shoot these from, then we can compare the stock slug to the dimple slug and see if we can see any kind of difference. Okay, what do you got today? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm going to let you describe these. It looks like a big old pumpkin ball on a, a finned base. Yeah. Sabo or yeah. Uh, wadding. Yeah. These are called the AQ slug and they were sold at Ballistic Products at least eight years ago. Discontinued. I don't know if they were just bad or or what, what the story is. But I'll explain all that <laughs> in the little opening thing. But we'll what, see what they'll do through a full rifle barrel. Yeah, we'll shoot them through a full rifle, smooth bore, rifle choke, the whole shoot and match, uh, every possible scenario, and see how they actually function if they're actually good slugs that have a bad reputation and discontinued needlessly. Normal AQ. Um, He's shooting at the black dot, black sticker near the uh, upper part of the plate. Mm, low right. Now there's a lot of people that believe that shooting anything through full rifling is going to just make it better, more accurate, and all that. But yeah, as you can see, the slug was rotating well, but it just wasn't very accurate and it wasn't very stable. Okay, we're going to try it again. Okay, going for the orange dot this time. I'm ready. Now this shot was a little better and it was just a little bit more accurate, but remember these slugs were designed for shooting through smoothbore without any rifling. Okay, uh, smoothbore now? Smoothbore. Not sure if these like rifling or not, but we had to try it. People <laughs> like to see that. Okay, and a little Tony, we're about uh, 10 or 11 yards or so, not terribly far, but enough to get our cameras focused on it and all that. Okay, I'm ready when you are. Alrighty, here we go. Yikes! Well, the million dollar question, will we get spin through a smooth bore with these slugs? Definitely, it's definitely rotating and rotating quite well. So you're a little low. A little bit low. Getting in line, that's, that's a smooth bore. Yeah, and then there's the 
the tail section that came flying back at us. You'll probably see that on camera. Oh, no, no danger or anything like that. Good solid centered hit though. That's yeah. that's looking good. Maybe they like uh, smoothbore shotguns better. Seems like it. Okay, we're now shooting it through the Benelli with a 34 inch barrel um, with a rifled choke tube on it. We'll see how it functions through that. Well, using the rifle choke tube seemed to be pretty good. Accuracy was best so far. The slug really hammered that brick. And so far, I'm kind of impressed with these slugs. I'm not really sure at this point why they were taken off the market. Maybe the company just went out of business. Yeah, the best you can hope for is getting it close with that big giant bead on the front. I'm trying to hit a little tiny dot that's five times smaller than the bead, but I think you can do it. Okay, I'm ready. All right. The second shot with the rifle choke tube was not as impressive as the first, it was about an inch and a half to the left. But because the shotgun has a large frontal bead, sometimes shots can be a little bit subjective. Do you blame the shooter, the slug, or the rifle choke tube? Okay, back to the smoothbore shotgun, which Danny seems to be really good with that. No sights, but a bead on the front. But he's, uh, he seems to be very accurate with that thing. So uh, he's got an angle grinder up that's broken, and uh, we, it's like, hey, that's it's a good target, you know, if you can uh, hit that, that little thing. That's one of those evil assault grinders. Yeah, one less grinder. It's uh, it's done more damage than any gun that I that I own. Yep. <laughs> See if we can put it out of my misery. He's using a. Are you going into full automatic mode? No, full semi-auto. Full, full semi-auto. <laughs> okay, I hit it. When you put it in full semi-ludicrous automatic, it made a big difference. Look at that. Oh, he hit it right where the bit, where the money maker is. Yeah, right in the money maker. Yeah. <laughs> Caught the wad. I don't know where the slug is. Is it? Bar it's buried oh, in there. There's our slug. It's flattened out right okay. there. Now you've moved it out of frame, damn it. Uh, pulling the Greg on you. I can't hold it still. It's hard to zoom in on and keep it in frame. Very impressive, though. Yeah, so far these it's look pretty good. Threw a little short smooth bore, and that was my point of aim. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. One less grinder. One less Harbor Freight. What, was that a Chicago brand? That was one of the Chicago Harbor Freight. Chicago Electric. So far the smoothbore shotgun seems to have the best accuracy and consistency with only a slight deviation in elevation. Since the shotgun has no rear sight, this is understandable. And for these tests, it's better to have slight deviations in elevation than deviations in windage. I Scott, people are gonna be mad that we shot this, but you know what? Our viewers are worth it. This is a digital personal communicator. I've been saving that for about 20 years. They, just they, for you viewers. I heard that they really uh, tried to make it like Star Trek. Personal communicator. That's just like a uh, Star Trek. How will that fare against the the AQ slug? You sure you want to shoot this? Beam me up, Scotty. Yeah, you sure you want to shoot it? You got it. I saved it just for the YouTube viewers. Okay. What else? Uh, you can call that number for a good time. <laughs> Eight six seven five three zero oh, nine. Okay, still using the brake action. Nokia flip phone. My goodness. Ah, Motorola. 
Motorola, I'm sorry. A little Motorola mayhem here. That's a, that's a historical piece there. I'm ready when you are. All right. Oh! Now, unless your only experience with guns is through video games or the movies, those who are shooters probably understand that when you're handed three different types of shotguns, you're probably not going to get the same consistent results. Each one has its own unique ballistics. But I think you'll agree with me that using the smoothbore break action shotgun is the best gun for these tests. Look at there. Looks it's, like I missed. Yeah. Right through it. Right through the keypad. And then battery, back play of the battery. And like those uh, Nakiaki, no, Nokiokis. <laughs> there it is. Nakia, uh, Nakia. Yeah. The battery stopped the slug. Yeah. Of course, this thing's like two inches thick. It's made of it, Japanese. Wow. Yeah. Very good. And now the moment you've been waiting for, the stock slug versus dimpled slug. Okay, smooth stock one first. Okay, I'm ready. All right, here we go. 1296. First shot, of course, is the unaltered smooth slug. Seemed to be pretty accurate. He hit it in the label. Okay, now the dimpled one. Will it be as accurate? Will it be faster? Will it uh, do something spectacular? Only one way to find out. <laughs> okay, I am ready. 1288. Well, the dimples on the slug did not make the slug go any faster. It was just slightly slower than the unmodified one. Now, I thought, if anything, this might be a little faster than the unmodified one just because of the weight difference, but I was wrong there. Now, is there any difference in the type of damage between the two slugs? Honestly, I don't see any difference in the amount of energy being released by the water. Well, let's continue with some long-range tests and see if we can see anything with those. Okay, now... Long range test, we've saved a couple. First we'll do the smooth stock one, see how it flies. And then we'll shoot the dimpled and vice versa and etc. and so on. Okay, uh, I am ready when you are. Hit! Now if you've learned anything from this is that the AQ slug, even in their stock configuration, are pretty accurate slugs even through a brake action shotgun. Now we seem to have the best results just shoot them through a plain old cylinder bore shotgun. And yes, the slugs do rotate because of those angled fins. Okay, 50 yards dimpled. Will it get there faster? Will it miss? Will it be more accurate? Who knows? Looks like he hit. So far we're not seeing any visible difference between the dimpled slug and the smooth slug. The velocity is about the same, the accuracy is about the same. So I guess the only good thing is that by altering these slugs we didn't throw off the balance, we didn't uh, screw anything up in other words. Okay, smooth stock one again. The target that we're shooting at is some sort of Velcro archery target. And uh, Darren gave that thing to us, so I appreciate that. But it is stuffed full of old Kevlar body armor vests. OK, 
Okay, now the last dimpled slug, right? Last dimpled slug. Pumpkin ball with pimples. Yeah. That was a definite hit. That was a solid hit. And again, we see almost no difference in the performance, the accuracy, the stability, or anything between the smooth slug and the dimpled slug. But remember, the dimpled slug is about two grams lighter, so it's just gonna carry less energy. That's the only difference. Okay, Danny is digging through that Kevlar mess there. Looks like Kevlar spaghetti. I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> And there you go, one of each. Might be a good giveaway if somebody wants that for Patreon. I think that's all we got. That's still, I'm, I'm, I didn't think we'd find any of them. I hope you found another one. <laughs> that was a smooth one. Little markings on there. Oh, that's cool. That appears to be all of them. Okay. Who knows, maybe Winchester Federal or Remington will come out with a dimpled slug like that and try to convince you that it's a better slug, but I think we already know the answer. Hey, I hope you'll check out Epic Trailer Music UK and encourage them to make even more epic music. Thanks for watching.